Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So we are going to be back working on the cheap BMW E93 series and we are hopefully today going to determine whether or not for sure the car has a head gasket failure. So I did listen to your, your guys advice. I did in fact order a head gasket, uh, I guess um, exhaust leak kit which is this thing just here, it's only a cheap thing. It is uh, essentially just a tube which you pour some of this fluid in. I believe it just sits at this level. Then you put this in the expansion tank and if there is, I guess, CO2 in the coolant, then this fluid, this blue fluid should turn yellow, I believe. But uh, yeah, I've never used one of these before so it is definitely going to be new to me. So without further ado, let's get outside and let's get cracking. Okay then, so here we go. As we can see, we have the BMW E90 3 Series with the N47 engine here. And yeah, let's not waste any time. Let's get this thing fired up. What I'm gonna do is remove the coolant expansion tank cap. We'll take that off. As you can see, it's still very much at the maximum level. We haven't lost a drop of coolant in this. So yeah, I'm gonna leave this off and uh, yeah, let's get this engine fired up. And if you're wondering what the expansion tank looks like with the engine running. As you can see, completely normal. And now what I need to do is get the engine up to operating temperature, which is around 87 degrees Celsius. That's when the thermostat should open. And then I can go ahead and get started with our tester kit. Okay then, so as we can see, the coolant temperature is now up to 88 degrees Celsius, which means the thermostat should be fully open. And it's now time to add our combustion leak detector fluid. So let's go ahead and put a few drops of this in. Okay, so the fluid is in. I guess it's now just a case of waiting to see if that changes colour.
Okay, so let's let the engine run at around 2,000 RPM for a good five minutes or so. And yeah, the colour of the fluid just does not seem to be changing. Which is a good thing. I don't think there's any point in keeping it running any longer. I'm going to switch this off and then come to a conclusion. Okay then, so as you can see, the fluid is still the same blue colour, which means that we don't have a head gasket leak. That means that there is no CO2 in the coolant, which you can quite clearly see that has not turned yellow. So yeah, as I expected and as I thought in the previous video, we don't have a head gasket leak which is brilliant. Okay then guys, so it is now officially confirmed that we do not have a head gasket leak. I was pretty confident in the previous video anyway. Like I said, we have no real symptoms of a head gasket failure. We don't have any coolant in the oil. We don't have any oil in the coolant. We are not burning coolant. We're not losing coolant in any way. The coolant level is not going down like I said it's been up to temperature a good few times now I've taken it for a good 15 20 minute drive or so and the car seems to drive absolutely spot on so yeah like I said I was pretty confident coming into today but I thought it would be a good idea and a good sort of uh, learning uh, video as well for anyone that is you know thinking of testing their engine for head gasket failure now you know how to do it um, yeah, it really is very easy and simple to do. If you do want to purchase the kit that I use, it's really not expensive. It's literally less than ten pound. I will leave a link down in the description box below. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you have not already done so, and I will see you all in that next one. Peace.